Hello everyone, it is index card day. Come on in and let's have some fun. I created a paper clip um, today for this week. And so if you have a journal page, that is what it will look like. I was going to put something on the end of this and I totally forgot. So, um, I think what I'll do is probably put a piece of um, ribbon or um, eyelash trim, something like that, because going in the mail, I need to stay away from the bulk or I just end up having issues at the post office and it's not worth it. Because as you know, I give one of these away a week. Uh, so this is an index card all folded up in every kind of direction. And what it is, is up at the top here, it is a pocket that holds a couple tags. And um, on the side is another pocket right here. And it holds a couple tags. And then there is a pocket on this side that holds a tag. So I came up with this idea, just thought it was really, really cute, and um, am keeping my fingers crossed that I will be able to explain this so that it makes some kind of sense. I'm going from Prima Lavender back and forth, back and forth to steampunk, steampunk, and my brain is like, ah, what are we doing? So, um, I know that many of you love the idea of a, um, of dimensions. So, this, I just hope this makes sense because I really just played with it and didn't pay much attention to it. So I'm gonna see if we can make this so that it does make some kind of sense. So I just got a hold of my index card, which is four by six, and just started playing with it. I knew what I wanted to do, and this is what I ended up with. So if you have a four by six, your first fold, your largest fold, is really this one it's going to be an eighth shy of two inches or you could make it two inches or you could make it one and three quarters that probably would be the the easiest one and three quarters and then the second fold really came in at oh about one and five eighths inch. I just was playing with it. I didn't plan anything. I just started folding. And so the measurements are kind of weird. Then you have a, let's see, that was that one. Then you've got this one here and this little tiny one really is an eighth over a half an inch. So, um, I just kind of laid it out and folded this new and I knew I wanted a little bit of a border there and then I folded this in knowing I wanted a little bit of a border there so um, you've got three folds one two and three and you have a lot of leeway with this as well and I will get to that in just a second. So you're gonna wanna find the place that you're going to want to put your um, paper clip on this one. I just, I came down not quite a half an inch. I mean, not quite half the uh, length. Jeez, I need to get my brain working. Okay, so we're gonna open this up, and what I like to do is put a little glue around here. I don't trust just tape. 
And so I put glue around that paper clip and then I take some um, Tyvek tape. You can use packing tape, you can use masking tape, any kind of tape that you like. And then I am gonna put, this is Tyvek tape and it's got a sticky back. And I am just going to place this right over here just to give this a little bit more security. So we don't want this going anywhere. And then we don't have to worry about the inside of here. So what I am going to do next, and I really should have done it first, I should have, I should have, before putting that on, I should have glued down this piece. And as you can see, I don't have it where it fits exactly. This one doesn't fit exactly either. It goes a little bit at the top right there and some at the bottom. That is the way that I wanted it. But I'm thinking maybe we will go this way so that the purple shows through. I think we'll put it that way. It's not gonna be a problem that I didn't glue it first, but you, you really, I think, wanna glue it first. Yeah. Okay, see what I mean? It's Friday and I was working on the steampunk stuff and and you haven't you know if you're following me with the steampunk don't worry you haven't missed anything we're gonna be doing a lot we're gonna be doing the same thing I'm doing now on camera so what I need to do is slide this in here because this should have been glued on so I'm gonna slide this in here like this even it up. I'm like, Charlotte, what are you doing? You have to think. You have to think about what you're doing, girl. Okay. So it's going to be like this. Okay. We're going to have this. And then I know that I want a half an inch chomped off the the uh, corners just because I wanted them rounded like that so this is what you're going to have a piece that looks like okay and then from here we don't want to see this so I have cut a strip and I did cut it the same as that and I don't want that so let's use this and we are going to go from here to here so that it finishes that edge off. So that you don't see that. Just like that, so we're gonna glue that down right on there like that. And then you have a decision to make. You know, it's funny how you're laying in bed. It's 1.30 in the morning. And you start thinking about this stuff. And you're like, ooh, ooh, am I going to remember that? Come morning, should I get up and write it down? Well, I remember that idea. That's a good one. So we're going to glue this right on here like this. And then when I created this, I was thinking, this is where you have your first option. So we can glue this, so this is a pocket right here. And in here, I didn't do that. I glued it down and I made my pocket up here at the top, right there. And so I think I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. 
we are because there's a pocket here and there's a pocket here so I just thought a pocket coming from the top would be nice so when we get this down what we're gonna do then is we're gonna put glue the bottom here and on this side here and then we're gonna glue that down like that hopefully that's making sense when I was creating this this morning, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, am I gonna remember what I did to be able to do it again? <laughs> you just don't know. Oh, geez, what's gonna happen to your brain? So, get this glued down. And then you can see we need to cover this piece up here and let's see that's right this is what we have that's right so this is what you're gonna have because now you have just created this pocket here and I'm looking at this thinking I do not have I did not bring a bone folder, but we have a pocket right here, okay? That's what we just created right here is a pocket. So now we need to cover this piece up and I brought this piece here. It doesn't matter if it doesn't go all the way here because this is going to be folded. So we're gonna cover this up. I'm, I'm just amazed. I'm amazed by the um, comments that um, there's so many of you running out and getting index cards and I'm just amazed at what you can do with an index card. I mean really, you can go get a huge pack of index cards at the dollar store and you just can create so many really cute things with one index card. It's just so worth it. All right, now you can see we've got lined. This is going to be a pocket, but we have to do something with this right here. And I think this is where we might use this one. This strip here. Or we could match it. Maybe we'll use, I think this is so beautiful. I am going to use this. And so I'm going to cut this about right there. And then we're gonna glue this down. I mean, it really is easy. As I'm explaining it, I'm sitting here thinking, I've just made it so complicated. I hope I haven't. I hope that it's pretty clear. Really, all you need to do is just take your index card and just start folding it. Just fold it and um, don't worry about the dimensions. Just fold it until you get something that you like. And then and also I was thinking of something that you could do that I didn't do. You could um, chomp out little devits so that you know that, like on here, so that you know that's a pocket. You could take one out of here. I mean, it would take a lot more planning because you'd have to lay it out, get your papers on there, and then before you glued this down to this, is when you would want to do that and then you would glue that to here otherwise there's no way of getting anything in there to do that so we are going to make this a pocket when I think about how easy the one last week was and I think about this one I'm like I'm sorry I just hope that you can understand what I'm doing Okay, that's a pocket and then this is a pocket. So we're going to glue this down here. So 
So we have a pocket up here. We have a pocket right here. We have a pocket right here. And we have a pocket here. And you had the option, if you wanted to have this a pocket, then you would have closed that up and you would have lost that pocket that's up here at the top. So now what we want to do is we want something to cover this and it looks like I don't have anything. So we need to find something from our paper pack that we can use. And this is the paper pack that I was working with. Let's see if I have any scrap in here. This is not Prima. Maybe it's the tiniest little piece, so I wonder if this would work. Or If, and these are not Prima, but let's see if they would go. Just because it, I only need the tiniest little piece. Oh, look at how beautiful that would be. Oh, that's so pretty. Let's see this. Oh, that's really pretty too. I think. Oh, all of these are beautiful. I think this is. Uh, you can no longer get this. Ooh, let's go with that. That is so nice. Okay, so where are we going to cut this? It looks like right on this inside line here. Hopefully that is going to be right. Okay. Hopefully this works. So pretty. Yes. And then right there, cut this. Yeah, put this in our scrap pile. It's too pretty to lose. So this is going to go right there like that. Oh, that's so pretty. And then I am going to show you there's so many things you can do with this idea. If you folded, did all your folds, before you put the back on, you could do sewing. You could add gems to this. You could add lace. You could add die cuts. I think there's so many different options here that you could do to this. It's just so cute. I don't even know where my brain came up with this. It just happened. It was one of those things. So then I have lace and I have a little bit of um, a bow and then I brought some flowers over but let's see what we have for pockets. I know it kind of bothered me that this hung out over the side. On a journal page, it wouldn't matter, but I think this is really cool, just like this. And so I really didn't, I did cut that down. So I know this will be way too big. But we have these cute little ones here. How about find yourself and be that. Let's see if that will fit in here. I did chomp all the corners on all the tags just for something different, but I did not distress them. Why? Because I think sometimes with this Prima Lavender, 
um, that it looks beautiful distressed, but it looks beautiful when you don't do anything. And so whoever gets this, if you want to distress it, you certainly can distress it. But I didn't, I did not distress it. You could put eyelets on these tags and, and hang, um, all sorts of beautiful ribbon on them. Um, I didn't do that because this has to go through the mail. And I'm trying to be a little bit conservative about that because sometimes they give me a hassle. And um, it's just, it's not worth the hassle. I mean, I'm giving 52 of these away. So, you know, I mean, it adds up. I don't need the hassle. I don't need any added expense. So we have this beautiful pocket. Will this fit? This will just, we're gonna get this to fit. Let's see. I will cut this right to the numbers and then we will chomp it again so that it looks even and it should go in there such a beautiful card that goes right in there i mean if you wanted to you could put a tab on here that would be so pretty and then we have let's see these are larger than the ones i put in the other one so let's use that. So cute. Hello. And we'll put this one in there. So this right now is holding five tags. And it's just, look at how cute this is. But let's put some lace. Let's put some lace over the top. I just have a little bit of lace like this. And I thought we could dress this up as much as you wanted. I mean, you could leave it. You could put labels. You could put um, layers of lace. It just goes on and on. So let's get out the, the uh, fabric fix. And I am not going to hang a charm off of here because of the post office. I am going to go ahead and put a pretty ribbon or eyelash trim, something like that, so that when this goes in an envelope, it will be flat. Because sometimes they, they say to me, what is in here? You know, this isn't going to go through the machine and everything that is supposed to be mailed has been mailed so be watching if you're a winner look at how pretty that is and then a little dollop of glue for the ribbon just a little touch I just took and tied a bow with some of this really pretty purple, purple yarn. And then we are going to use one of these flowers. Let's see if I can find a small one with glitter. Yes. So we'll use one of these. Gives us some bling. A little bit more fabric fix. And put that right there like that. And let me hold on to this just for a minute, just to make sure we've got it. And then let's get to our giveaway. 
there were three or four people I did not hear from, and I'm sorry about that. So cute, guys. I mean, look at that. Who wouldn't love to turn a journal page and see that? That is so cute. All right, so we have I did not hear from Whitney. So this is going up. Let's go ahead. I've got I've got three here that I did not hear from. So for this lavender one, get this out of the way. Get my little box. Get my names. Let's shake it up. Shake it up. And we've got Bonnie Nevels. Okay, Bonnie. I think Bonnie is in Canada, I think. Um, this is yours, Bonnie. If I hear from you, that one is yours. Then we have this really cute one here, and I did not hear from Sharon. So, Sharon, this was the double tag. Yeah, this was really cute. So, let's... <gasps> Gail, Gail Tuthill, if uh, let me know if you're watching and leave, get me your address. Then we have this one, so cute with the rolled up um, pattern paper. Did not hear. All right, this sweetheart here will go to Lauren Claiborne. So, uh, Lauren, if you're watching, that is yours. If they don't, if I don't hear from anybody, of course, then we will go back to um, picking names next week. And we have Oz Jan. So, all right, ladies, you know what you have to do. Message me or, you know, let me know through Etsy. And then the one that we had from last week is, remember these? Arizona or desert. I can't say Arizona. It could be many places. It could be Nevada. So um, I think let's do this one here and I will keep, whoop, I will keep that one. So, How about, how about Kathy D? That's all I know is Kathy D. So Kathy D, if you are watching, this sweetheart of a little book is yours. All right, guys. I, um, yeah, I hope you're following along with the steampunk. It is, I, I was doing a couple new things today that I am going to repeat in the next video so stay tuned it's coming along it looks really cute i'm yeah i'm very happy with it but i hope that uh you understood you understood um what i did here that you like this and i hope everyone has a fantastic weekend and i will catch you in my next video thanks so much guys bye